I was reading a little article that said that uh, Jared Goff and Dan Campbell is pretty much saying that the Lions don't need to prove themselves again after going on this hot streak. Um, I disagree. They should prove themselves. Um, continue to prove they self uh, and have to prove they self at the end of the day just because y'all make a little high streak you know and I forget who said this I think it was Juan Buchanan who said this he said I won't believe who I forget I'm sorry if it wasn't Juan whoever it was he said I won't start believing today when the playoff game who some of you won't believe it today when the Super Bowl so no nah, of course y'all gotta prove y'all self dude I don't think because y'all done did something for a stretch Shit, if y'all had one good season to win a playoff game, man, I'm still gunshot. I'm still got whiplash that y'all don't turn back to SOL. Y'all got to put a string of great seasons together. You know what I'm saying? The only way you do that is with great quarterback play. But you know what? I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. You know, yo, you be there, yo, boo, boo. Yeah, I know that ZJ go there talking about the quarterback position again. The Detroit SOL line fans are not going to make that boo, boo. So... <laughs> Shout out to Yogi Bear. But, um, but yeah, of course y'all got to prove y'allself. But y'all ain't did ish. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all all in my grill? Why you all in my grill with this bullshit? Use my language. You know, y'all got to prove y'allself. Y'all is the Detroit Lions. You lying, Phil. You lying. You always had to prove yourself. You've been bad since 1957. You have to prove yourself. Every year you gotta prove yourself. Every week you gotta prove yourself in this league. And if you overlook teams like Carolina shit, you overlook the Raiders, you overlook the Texans, they are professionals. They will put your they foot up your hind side. They will put their cleat up your hind side. Oh no, we ain't got to prove ourselves. And you know, you see what we did, you know, Carolina was a hip cut. Man, get up out of here. Of course y'all got to prove yourself. Who y'all think y'all is? Tom Brady, Patriots. Shit, Tom Brady got to prove himself. Look what he doing in Tampa. Now it's rumored that Tom going to Oakland. I mean, Las Vegas. Excuse me. Sorry, Oakland. Y'all lost y'all team, man. The whole day is going to Vegas too. It's always been a rumor. But um, of course you got. Of course they got to prove themselves. Who, who they think they is? Shit, the Rams was out to prove themselves last year, and it wasn't a fluke. Guess what? Be in trouble. Eliminated from the playoffs. Playoffs. Shit, I don't want to meet the motherfucker. Excuse me, I want to meet the person that bet the Rams weren't going to make the playoffs. Man, they probably swimming in dividends. 150, 160, 100,000. Ain't nobody think they was going to miss. People thought Cincinnati was going to miss, especially the way the season started off. And Cincinnati out here, out there, you ask them, do they, do they feel like they need to prove themselves? And Cincinnati going to tell you, hell yeah. The Bengals. You know, I was counting them out. I said, oh, they got the Super Bowl losing hangover. In Cincinnati, you know, they had, you know, they had great leadership and they got a hell of a quarterback. They run through a wall for that man. You know. And you know, they left their left tackle. They took one of their tackles, Leland Collins, that came off of the Cowboys. We see how they do, but yeah, they ain't bad, man. They don't flinch. They walk, they come out here with a chip on their shoulder, man. They got something to prove. And the Lions, how bad y'all been? I don't care if you've been through it, you wasn't here for it. Ask your coach. He was on 0 and 16. He's always something to prove. You always gotta validate when you the Lions. Every week, every practice, every game, every training camp, every mini camp, every Madden game. You always have to motivate. I mean, you know, you also always be over there, but you always got to prove that y'all ain't SOL. And Todd Deem, that y'all not SOL no more? You're SOL, so you got something to prove. And, and, that, and that's just the reality. That's the reality. So y'all out here thinking y'all did something, or y'all on y'all high horse? Oh, no. You on that raggedy ass donkey. Y'all ain't did nothing to be talking about. Well, I ain't got nothing to prove. You know what I'm saying? Nah. If y'all make the playoffs, y'all, man, let's see y'all win the game. Y'all going, y'all got to prove it wasn't a fluke. Y'all make the playoffs and make it another step next year. Y'all ain't got to prove y'all can make the Super Bowl and win it. 
Because, God, if the Lions go to the Super Bowl and lose it, man, I don't even, man. I always say I'd rather be a Lions fan than the Bills. You're making four straight years and lose to each NFC East team at the time. And your four tries. Man, I couldn't take it. Elizabeth, this is a big one. I couldn't take that. I'm talking about the ultimate tease. You go four years in a row. That's almost a half a decade. That's a whole college. That's a whole college bachelor's degree. That's a whole high school maturation process. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. You a Bills fan. Your whole high school fucking uh, your career, they lose. Oh, this our year. Oh, this our year. Oh, this our year. Oh, this our year. Damn. Then they sprinkle a little bit of Music City Miracle on that. On that. I was watching that live. Man. Only team that got it worse than the Bills and Lions is the original Browns. They took your team and then what they moved them to uh, Baltimore, right? Or I think it was Baltimore. Damn, took your shit. Damn, I thought we was Browns fans, man. We got a bird now. Jesus. But yeah, y'all got something to prove. Man, come on, man. Shit, Jared Goff, I'm ready to still get rid of your ass, your white ass. Shit, I'm ready to trade the whole draft for fucking Lamar. I don't care what y'all say. She, I trade you in the heartbeat. I saw you. Yeah. Walking. I, damn, I need to stop at the credit union. I ain't worried about it. Walking through rain. Hell yeah, I take Lamar over Jerry Goff. Jerry Goff have a couple good games. He got a nice fish. Shame me, shame me, shame me, shame me. Goff, 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 Goff. Oh, Goff is the man if he can't. Next year, he turn around and turn back to Jared Goff. Y'all are going to be, damn. You know, I know when I'm right, man, my social media be quiet. Shit, you can hear, you can hear, you can hear Stuart Little eating his goddamn, his meal. Isn't that quiet? Come on. You can hear a mom knock on an imaginary door. Is that quiet? Real talk, is that quiet? Is that quiet around, around here? When I'm wrong, I heard him, him and Killian. I'm surprised they heard no Malik Willis back last. I'm going to jump out in front of that shit. He let the uh, practice squad line quarterback start over him versus the Cowboys. Surprise I ain't heard that. You gotta keep your head up, Malik. <laughs> but I didn't distance a pig it. I just didn't like them baby hands. You wanna shake my small hand? You know, but hey Malik, you know, she you knows it's tough triple hard for black quarterbacks. I knew when uh Mike Rabel pulled you out first, I forget in the preseason for the, the third string quarterback, he was on that board. I mean, shit, who they throwing to over there anyway? So now I can't blame Tannehill. They took away A.J. Brown. Shit, ain't Juno Smith gone. Shit, who they throwing to? Shit, Tyrone Biggum. You got some more that crack, man? <laughs> Come on, man. You got some more of that rock? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, yeah, man. Come on. We ain't got nothing to prove. Like, shit, y'all the Lions. Y'all always got something to prove. Shit, y'all make the play. I mean, I always got something to prove. And, you know, I don't think we got to prove nothing, man. Turn around and lose the last two games. Shit, man. I mean, y'all all talking about, oh, we got the easy schedule left. We done played the hard teams. Oh, man, the Lions going to go to the Super Bowl. They going to the playoffs. I told CJ, I told them. Shit, man. You been around the block a couple times? I've been around the world, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they won't play you hating, and I don't know, and I don't know why. Why they always hate us? And when you've been around the block with the Lions for me over 30 years, yeah, I know I don't look that old. Well, I get that. I get my sleep, and I don't, I don't mess with that sugar weed or that cigarette or that vape. I don't even drink like that. That's another. But, um, shit, we got all y'all here. That shit helped, too. But, um, yeah, I'll be counting y'all chickens for y'all. Man, the, the, the pistons got me so, uh, got me so goddamn whiplash, man. I'm flinching and shit, man. They be up by 50 with 10 seconds left. I still think they gonna find a way to lose and shit. You know what I'm saying? 
I done seen them, I done seen the punter lose the game. I done seen them lose games in so many different ways, bruh. Shoot. I'm damaged. I'm like her. Doop, 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 doop. I forgot that be good. I'm damaged. Talking about childhood trauma, the lions. That's my childhood trauma. <laughs> That's talking about me golf championship, the album. <laughs> trauma. My childhood was traumatized by the lions. Forget the pit bulls and the ass whoopers at home. The lions. So I'll be playing. I'll be playing uh, at the park a mile away. My mama called me. Go find a remote. I'm like damn. And I act like you ain't hear her. Shoot, we talking about trauma. She, my granddaddy cut the heat at 60 degrees. It could be nine. It could be negative 50 outside. Dang, that bitch is extra. In the summer, they didn't believe. They didn't believe in no. Damn, what is he doing? Okay. They ain't believe in no motherfucking AC. We was in that boy cooking. Then my cousin, I was, I was so hot in here, sus. I, I was hot. You was hot? <laughs> he was from North Carolina. This nigga would be sleeping 50 degrees. I mean, that nigga be sleeping. It'd be 100 degrees at nighttime. How is this nigga sleeping? But. You know it is what it is, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Let me know what you girls and guys think. The Lions got something to prove. Hit the link tree. Find me on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash, at Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate everybody for supporting the channel. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.